and hello everyone welcome back to another NIM tutorial in this tutorial we'll be talking about creating our custom types if you know anything about OOP object orientated programming it will be similar to this as in we are not creating a custom custom type but it can be used in a sense like that if you have no idea what OOP is or how it works or you're scared of it like I was when I first started with it do not worry we will get to that in a future tutorial for right now, let's take a look. So first, to create our own type, we can use the type keyword. And in here, we can define the types we want. Now, the first data type you can use to create your own type is the tuple. So let's say we have a person, and that person is equal to a tuple, which has a name, which is a string, and an age, which is an int. So this is the first way to define your own type. Now, if you want to declare it, we can just go var jack, which is a person. And that is equal to, and then first you give it the name and then you give it the age. So just jack and let's say 24. Then to get these details, you can just go simply echo jack.name. And if you want to get the age, you just go jack.age. If we save this and we run this, then we get Jack and 24. There we go, that's cleaner. Now you can declare tuples like this in multiple ways. You don't need to do it specifically like this. Let's say we have animal. Animal, we can also be a tuple. And here we just indent it and anything in this indentation is also part of this tuple. So species is equal to a string. And then we also have edible which is a boolean. As an example, a cow would be edible because you can make beef from it. Then here we can say pet is, which is of type animal. And you will declare it the same way. So this can be a dog and false. We don't need dogs here. And then of course we can access the same values by just going pet. And then instead of name and age, we will throw an error as you can see here. We can then put species and edible. Then of course, if we run this, we'll get dog and false. Now, if you want something that's a little less complex, maybe something that can only maybe store a couple of numbers, we can do my range, which is equal to a range of zero to five. Meaning this, anything that is of type my range can only hold the values zero to five. So, here we can just say range, rank for range, and that's of my range. And we can say five. And then we can, of course, just echo out rank. But if we run this, we'll get five. If we were to put a 10 here and then run it, we'll get an error because we cannot put a 10 here because it only supports from zero to five. And then finally, let's go for something a bit more complex. We'll actually create an object. Now, this is part of the object-oriented programming section of the course, but I'll give you a basic overview so we don't have to get too complex. So let's say we have a dog, and the dog is an object. Here, we can then say the name of the dog is a string, and the age of the dog is an int, and they should both be indented. Now, if we were to declare Jack a dog, and we can just actually say equal to dog. And we can actually specify name. And here we can say Jack. Because the name of Jack is Jack, of course. And the age of Jack is five. So our dog Jack is now, and this should of course be an integer, an object. So if we run this, we'll actually get name Jack at age five, similar to a tuple. So in a sense, this will tuplify it for us. If we go to age, we'll get age. If we go to name, we'll get name. Simple as. And this is the basic of an object. So this is, in a sense, creating your own type using the type keyword. You create a type, and then you can assign the type. So we can actually go like that, perfectly fine. And then that type can contain whatever is needed. And that's the basics of creating your own type. It can, of course, become a lot more complex than just creating an object. 
But for right now, I think this is a perfect place to end it off. Later on, we can actually look a bit more or deeper into the type system and creating more complex types. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all again in the next NIM tutorial.